Hello and welcome back to TW 2016. I am here with my 2016 WWE save and I am back feeling great again. So let's get to going. Show opens up with a really good opening segment. Okay, Roman Empire starts raw in the ring. Roman says, last night was a travesty. Dean, I will beat you and I know when Steph and Shane come out tonight to announce the next world title match, it'll be you and me, and I will take back my WWE world title. But Carl Anderson interjects and says, that's right, but right now, we need to address the bulletproof. AJ Styles and Finn Balor? AJ Styles and Finn Balor, yeah, okay. Wrong tone to say it in. AJ, Finn you guys are just two failures who can't beat any of us because we are phenomenal. A new theme plays for Bulletproof and AJ and Finn come out and AJ says, You can't think that we're the only members of Bulletproof, do you? Because if you do, you're pretty stupid. Bulletproof music hits, out comes the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. Bulletproof runs down, clears the ring, then a match is made for next. Bulletproof's AJ Styles and the Young Bucks versus... Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, and Jimmy Uso, and that match does better than I thought it was going to do. Good, 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 and about that decent wrestling, but little heat. Bulletproof, AJ Styles, and the Young Bucks defeated the Roman Empire, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Jimmy Uso, when AJ Styles defeated Luke Gallows by pinfall with Styles Clash. In terms of in-ring work, AJ Styles was head and shoulders above everyone. Um, Young Bucks didn't do too bad. Young, Young Bucks made a good first impression, I think. Um, eh, not so good on the mic, but oh well. Young Bucks on the mic. They'll, t it'll, they'll, they'll catch on. After the match, Bulletproof grabs mics. We are more than just a team, Nick Jackson goes on to say. We are a family. AJ then finished and says, Roman, you and your empire will fall to this family. So how about this? Later tonight, you go one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor. And then Matt Jackson says, unless you're scared because everything we do is just, and they all say, to sweet, throw up the click signs, celebrate in the ring, bulletproof is here. Um, and number one contender is women's match for the women's title, Sasha Bank, okay, made a mistake. Let's just pretend that Paige wins this match, yay, Paige wins. Anyway, Talia Sky, also known, formerly known as Velvet Sky, makes her debut in this match. And then after the match, attacks Sasha Banks down, um, kicking that feud off. And then after, then after the commercial break that I'm just imagining goes there, after just becoming number one contender, Paige is asked by the cameraman backstage how she feels. She says, I feel like Becky's days as champion are numbered because... I, when I get my opportunity, I will not fail. So not such a good promo. I'm gonna have to work on that feud. I think Becky's gonna be the have to be the one to do that. John Cena comes out, throws out his U.S. Open challenge. Champ is here. Burr, burr, burr. I wasn't gonna write this. Everything Cena says because I don't feel like writing a cornball mess of shit. <laughs> anyway, Zack Ryder comes out and accepts. They had a pretty good match. John Cena wins. Zack Ryder is probably better for it, being in a match with Cena. But after the match, Tyler Breeze comes out, attacks John Cena, and then grabs a microphone and says, I will beat you, Cena. I hate you, and, there, and you n are nothing compared to me. I will be U.S. champion again, and I am gorgeous. So Tyler Breeze comes out, cuts a really good promo, getting some really good grades with Tyler, out of Tyler Breeze right now. Okay, Bray Wyatt comes out. Well, that doesn't come out. He's in his dark room. Zack Ryder. You have failed time and time again, but now you're different. You're more motivated, which makes me more ma motivated to run through you. So my advice to you, man, is this. Run! Bray Wyatt cuts a really good promo there. Um, and, okay, here we go. Sami Zayn comes out of the ring. Kurt, you told me if I won last night, you would tell me the real reason you went after me. So come on out here and tell me. Kevin Owens comes out and says, You look surprised to see me, Sammy. 
And Sammy says, Kevin, not now. I have my own issues without you. And Kevin says, I, I don't think you're comprehending what's going on here. I am the reason he went after you because I paid him so you couldn't screw me out of this. Wait, screw this up for me. Holding up the money in the bank briefcase. Sammy goes to attack Kevin Owens, but Kevin escapes. But then Kurt Angle attacks Kevin on the stage, knocking, taking him out, and then holding up the Intercontinental title to end, up, end the segment. Kurt Angle wants the IC title. Sami Zayn wants revenge. This could be building towards a, a pretty good triple threat, I think. Oh, really? That's a great match. Good job, Finn Balor. And a good had good wrestling and a decent reaction from the fans. Roman Reigns defeated Finn Balor after blatantly cheating. Um, and then after the match, Roman Reigns um, just spears Finn Balor. He's, he was angry he had to cheat, and he spears Finn Balor. Um, yeah. Not that great of a match, but Tyler Breeze beats Evan Bourne with a supermodel kick, and then after them, there is a backstage heat on Evan Bourne after his butt. Oh no, Tyler Breeze a partially ruptured pectoral. Oh no, should not have been wrestling, having injured wrestlers compete only leads to bigger what. He wasn't injured before. Tyler Breeze is celebrating his victory. Cena runs in and attacks him. I don't that that injury may kill him. Kill the feud. Not kill him, but kill that feud. Totally. In a sub number one contenders tag team match. Dudley Boys defeated Blake Murphy and Big Cass after I forgot to add this note in, but Alexa Bliss hits Big Cass with something. Devon rolls him up. That's how I imagine that match going. And after the match, Enzo and Cass cut a promo on Blake and Murphy. You guys cost us the match. You cost yourselves the match. And you need to watch your back. And luckily, this was not the main event segment. The main event segment is something different. Good thing. And about that, superb wrestling and great heat. Dean Ambrose defeated Alberto Del Rio with Dirty Deeds. And then in the main event, yes, good job. Good job. After the match, Steph and Shane come out as they're going to announce the next title match. Congrats, Dean, on becoming world champion, says Shane. And then Steph goes, Me and my brother have taken every member of the roster into account when making the next WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. And then Shane goes on to say, Dean, you will make your first title defense at SummerSlam. And R Roman's music hits. He comes out, I want Dean at Battleground brooding Roman Reigns and Shane says excuse me did we announce you as the opponent well luckily for you Roman you are the opponent Steph said at least one of them as the title match at SummerSlam will be Dean Ambrose defending against Roman Reigns and the returning Seth Rollins and then after the mat after that to end the show Roman looks mad he's mad for one and then he looks a little worried and then Dean Ambrose just is smiling having a good old time like he, Roman <laughs> like Dean's like I I can deal with whatever but Roman you <laughs> you're pretty mad aren't you bud bud <laughs> We had a good show good show good show good show good Monday night raw Um let's see here I th don't know if there's anything um, that I would need to do. Let's see if there's any decisions. There's decisions to be made. Renewing Naomi's contract and F Fandango's contract is the only other thing that needs to be renewed at some point. Kurt Angle opinion. Murphy needs to learn how to sell. Okay, yes. Tyler Breeze. We need... We Okay, medical. Where's medical? <sighs> He's not out. He's not out. I am lucky he is not out. <sighs> that f that feud almost died right there. That feud almost fucking died. I I've been building this feud for months, for two months now. It's been a two month build of this feud, and I, I, I and Tyler Breeze is finally to the point where 
he is getting good grades on his mo on his popularity. He is. I've built him from 31 all the way up into the 50s on this feud. I need Tyler Breeze to be healthy enough to do good against John Cena in their third match. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode. I will see you guys next time.